Auzubillahiminashshaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim How are you all my pretty girls? I hope you're all fit and fine and I hope that you are trying your best to give your best in this last Ashura of Ramadan, right? So kindly keep me, my family and all your teachers in your prayers, okay? And as you know that this is your English teacher and I am here again to help you learn a new concept today. So you all have to take out your workbook, New Oxford Modern English Workbook 3. So what are we going to learn today? We are going to learn about articles. Now what are articles? Let me help you learn. Just take out page number 3. Open your workbook and then, then turn to page number 3. You have to write down the date. It's 6th May today. Job is Ramadan and day is Thursday. And then you have to write down CW. Okay, after having done all these things, let's come to the topic. It's exercise B. Articles. We use an article in front of a noun. And you know very well, beta, what are nouns? Nouns are naming words, name of a thing, person, or place, right? So here they have given you, given you some examples. A ship. As you can see, ship is a noun and they have used this article A. A ship. Then an apple. Why it is a ship and an apple? As you can see, this, that ship is beginning with a consonant sound. S, sh, H, sh, ship. And then an apple. So apple is beginning with a vowel. Do you remember what are vowels? Vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. And then the word. And why they have used the? This article the with the word. Question B1 is give examples of your own for the articles A, an or the, and the. Now let me, let me explain that what are articles, beta. Articles are basically special modifiers or determiners that function to specify if the noun is general or specific in its reference, alright. In simple words, we use articles to modify okay that the noun we are using is specific or non-specific ke hum jis cheez ki baat kar rahe hain place animal or thing jis kisi bhi cheez ki jo hum baat kar rahe hain wo specific hai ya non-specific hai particular hai ya more general hai khas hai ya aam hai very simple all right so Let's talk about the. We are going to talk about this article, the. And the is a definite article, right? Because we use the when we want to show something specific. Or when we want to refer to a particular noun, kisi khas, kisi maksus cheez ki, jab hum baat kar rahe hote hain, to hum ye article definite article the use karte hain, okay and there is one more thing to know we use the definite article the when the thing or the noun we are talking about is already known to us theek hai jab the identity is known jab hame pata hota hai ki hum is kis khas cheez ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain ya usi cheez ke bare mein hum dobara baat kar rahe hain jiske bare mein hame already pata hai we use the article the Okay, very simple. And when do we use A or N? Basically, sometimes we say there are three articles. Sometimes we say there are two articles. Why? Because there are two articles, A and the. We cannot use A and A together. A or N, ek saath kabhi use nahi hota. Basically, N is the variant which is used before the word which begins with a vowel sound, ठीक है? आप A और N को एक साथ नहीं use करेंगे, either you use A or N, okay? So A or N and the are the articles, the is the definite article or A or N are known as indefinite article and when do we use A or N? Hmm? A, N, A or N is used to refer to 
नॉन स्पेसिफिक नाउन नॉन पर्टिकुलर ठीक है मोर जनरल जब हम किसी भी आम सी चीज़ की इन जनरल बात करते हैं वे यूज ए और एन दीज आर नोन एज इनडेफिनेट आर्टिकल्स एंड वेन डू वी यूज द वी यूज द वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग स्पेसिफिक समथिंग मोर पर्टिकुलर ओके जब किसी खास चीज़ के बारे में बात करते हैं वी यूज द एंड कीप इन माइंड बेटर दैट वी यूज द विथ काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल बोथ ठीक है चाहे आप उस चीज़ को गिन सकते हो या ना गिन सकते हो द कैन बी यूज प्लस द कैन बी यूज विद बोथ सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल नाउ चीज़ एक हो या एक से ज़्यादा हो आप द यूज कर सकते हैं दीज आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच हैज टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड बेटा कि द को आप इट इज़ यूज विद बोथ सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल नाउन्स एंड इट इज़ यूज विद बोथ काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउन्स एंड ए और एन जो है इट इज़ यूज विद सिंगुलर नाउन्स ठीक है अगर आप कहेंगे इफ यू आर सेंग आई हैव अ पेंसिल दैट मीन्स यू आर सेंग दैट यू हैव ओनली वन पेंसिल ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ए और एन इन डिटेल बेटा ए एंड एन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड एन वेन डू वी यूज अ वेन डू वी यूज एन अ एंड एन हैव द सेम मीनिंग सिंगुलर चीज के लिए यूज होते हैं राइट right? but a and n are indefinite articles but the difference depends on the sound at the beginning of the next word jo word aap use kar rahe hain uski sound pe depend karta hai whether you have to use a or an now look over here when the next word starts with a consonant sound we use a now what are consonants beta if you remember there are five vowels a e i O U and all the rest of the letters are known as consonants. जो vowel नहीं है वो consonants हैं in simple words ठीक है and when the next word starts with a vowel sound A E I O U we use this article indefinite article एन okay for example a book a car a dog as you can see they are all beginning with consonant then a frog a lemon a truck all right now come to an an apple an egg an insect an orange an umbrella an actor they are all beginning with vowels right a e i o u now what is the most important thing over here which has to be kept in mind beta the sound of the letter is important for example a house but an r sometimes the first letter is silent silent means beta it is not sounded iski isme is word mein h ki awaaz nahi aa rahi hai h is silent it is sleeping ye so raha hai so hum kis ki sound nikal rahe hain our o ki that's why you have used this indefinite article an okay then again an uncle but a university this is the most important thing that university is beginning with u but why are we using a not an now let me clarify it to you beta the u at the beginning of the university sounds like u jab aap aisa koi word use karenge jo u se to start ho raha hai but the sound is a like umbrella uncle so the sound of u over here is a uh, right then we use indefinite article an but if the word you are using is beginning with u but the sound is also of u then we use a uh, for suppose ha a university hai you can also say a uniform a union because they are beginning with u sound theek hai and word the when the word is beginning with a uh, sound uncle umbrella then we use this indefinite article an theek hai i hope i am cleared this rule applies to all words after a or an including adjectives and adverbs up uh, for suppose a cold day a very crazy person an easy lesson an interesting class whenever we are beginning the word with vowel we are using an and when we are beginning with consonant we are using 
okay so i hope i'm clear till here now let's start doing your exercise on page number three what are we what do we have to do today give examples of your own for the articles a and and the now it's your choice beta ki aapko isme kya likhna hai like you can write an elephant an ice cream an umbrella a uniform all right or you can write a car a girl a doctor a hill whatever you want to write right and with the you can write the earth something which is one of a kind theek hai when we are certain about the thing that it is only one of a kind like the pacific ocean the sun the holy quran jitni bhi special cheeze hain khas cheeze hain aur uncountable bhi hain for uncountable things we use the always remember we use the with uncountable things like you cannot count your hair right and you cannot count the sugar so we always use the sugar the salt the sun the moon the earth the president okay beta so you can write anything over here in these lines in part a you have to write three words which are beginning with uh, consonant and then in part b you have to write three words which are beginning with vowel and then you have to write in part c three words which are beginning with um, either consonant or vowel but they must be specific special all right now exercise 2 and keep in mind beta whenever we are using the words which have silent words in the beginning like an hour an honest person okay we will always use indefinite article an now beta come to exercise b2 write the kindly write down this the by yourself write the a or an before these nouns now a man part b an orange part c an x part d a tree part e the world and part f a large air okay now my dear girls you are requested to turn to page number 4 take out page number 4 and then again you have to write down date it's 6th may today day is thursday and then write down cw question number b3 we are going to do right now write a and indefinite article or the definite article where they are necessary in the following they have given you some sentences over here and you have to use the articles but where necessary necessary means agar zaruri hai to use kare otherwise don't use it okay because the noun is already modified and then let's start reading but before getting started beta let me uh, tell you one most important thing that there are certain things where we do not use articles at all kuch cheeze aisi hain beta jinke sath hum bilkul bhi articles use nahi karte like countries cities continents and people like proper nouns when you are talking about your friend for suppose you are talking about uh, rabia you will never say i am talking to the rabia no i am talking to rabia right like pakistan is my favorite country no need to add article the pakistan is my favorite country all right so keep in mind country cities people and continents we do not use any article with them now let's start reading mera beta part a is in the dash atlantic ocean again atlantic ocean we are talking about something important or one of a kind and which is very specific particular particularly khas taur se hum atlantic ocean ki baat kar rahe hain so we will use definite article the in the atlantic ocean there are many fish so fish is the plural they are using many fish so it means they are using a plural noun right बहुत सारी फिश तो इट इज़ ऑल्सो दे हैव ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड इट कि बहुत सारी मछलियाँ थी सो वी विल नॉट यूज एनी आर्टिकल इन दिस ब्लैंड ओके दिस विल रिमेन एम टी पार्ट बी वन डे एंड ऑस्ट्रेच रैन इन टू आर गार्डन वाई एन बिकॉज ऑस्ट्रेच इज बिगिनिंग विद अ वॉवल साउंड ओ इन टू आर गार्डन इट स्टेड इन 
dash garden now you know that we have already talked about this garden we know the identity is known to me now so i will say it stayed in the garden for a week like a is used for singular nouns right so a is representing ek hafte ke liye wo us garden mein raha kon ostrich shitanmurgh then part c hira is dash good dancer as we are talking about hira for the very uh, first time so we will use a good dancer she is the best dancer in the school why the school because we are talking about that particular school in which hira is a dancer right then part d mount everest is a very high mountain we are talking about mount everest and its height for the very first time in this sentence then it is the highest mountain we are again mentioning its height right the highest mountain in the world again something particular specific one of a kind right part e last week i went to see a doctor any doctor in general they are talking about right so we will write a doctor then the last part please pass now a sugar or the sugar if you remember while giving you the explanation i told you that we never use indefinite article a or an with uncountable nouns like you can never use a or an with your hair with salt with sugar these are all uncountable right please pass the sugar rahil okay so that's all for today subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh